So I just have this simple scene set up here and the idea of what we're going to do here is we're going to make our character right here teleport from here to here. So basically when we walk into let's say a teleporting device we would teleport to somewhere else on the map i.e over here and it is like I say very simple. So let's right click create that C sharp script and let's call it teleporting. Why not? There's no set name you should call it. It's what's inside the script that counts. So we're going to have two variables. We're going to have the position where we want to warp to and the player as well. So we can get rid of everything it's given us because we're going to start afresh. So inside the public class, let's have public transform and we'll have teleport target semicolon. So basically that's going to be the area where we move to. Next is going to be the player. So public game object the player semicolon. And this is going to be done void on trigger enter. And it doesn't need to be private. That's fine as it is. And basically, as soon as we enter this trigger, we're going to take the player or its transform position to wherever this is. So the player dot transform dot position. And remember, case sensitivity is important equals teleport target dot transform dot position semicolon and save. So basically we're making one place equal to another place. So in doing so there are a couple of things we have to do in our scene now to actually get this working correctly. The first thing is setting an actual trigger to use. So game object, 3D object, cube and let's have this trigger set maybe about here but I'm going to stretch it along the course of this ship just so as we can actually well walk anywhere and teleport. So I'm going to expand it on the X to let's say about there. Uh, let's turn the mesh renderer off and let's turn is trigger on. And now drag and drop that teleporting script onto that trigger cube. And the final thing we're going to do is the position where we want to teleport to. And we can do that by going game object create empty. And we can bring this if we double click and see just where it would be. So we want to bring this let's say over here. Now the thing about an empty game object is it can be sometimes difficult to determine where the actual object is. So occasionally it may be better off using a cube. But you can see here that location looks probably just about fine. So the cube is ready for us to uh, walk into. The controller is just behind it so all we need to do is walk forward. So finally let's set those variables in the inspector panel. So that game object is going to be the teleport target and the player is obviously the first person controller. So now if we press play, as soon as we walk into this trigger, we would teleport. There we go. And we teleport to the other side of the ship. You could always fancy up a little bit, I guess, by adding in some effects like a particle system. You know, it's just one of those things that, well, just gives that effect, doesn't it? It's entirely up to you. So let's imagine this is our warping pad with the uh, particle system there. Walk into it and there we go. We've teleported and it really is as simple as that.